Hey everyone, it's James and we're going to take this web page. It's a pretty basic web page with a header tag, a h1 header tag, title tag at the top and uh, paragraphs split in to five different paragraphs and we're going to add some typography to it to basically make it look like this. So we're going to add some drop caps, we're going to change the title around and we're also going to center that title. We're going to make a block quote and um, turn that into a pull quote. And we're going to add a few other bits and pieces. We're going to split the text and we're going to add a horizontal rule and we're going to straighten all the text out as well so it's justified on either side. The whole point is to make the content as engaging as possible. So come to my website, there'll be a link in the below bar if you're watching on YouTube. Click on the download Dreamweaver exercise files button and save the files to your desktop. Go to site, new site in Dreamweaver and we'll call the site name typography. Now for some reason I put the folder in a, another folder called typography. So what you're going to need to do is make sure it says typography twice when you're defining the local root folder. And uh, when you define a local images folder, just go inside of the typography folder and then type in images. And that will define the local images folder as well. And inside that images folder you will find um, a background image and a foreground image which should already be on the web page, the starting web page. So once you've got the site defined in Dreamweaver, just load up that starting files HTML web page and we'll get started. Okay, so now you've got the file opened, just uh, press pause on the video and familiarize yourself with the CSS that's already there. We've got a body, a wrapper, and we also have a div called pound content and everything is in pound content. Now what we're going to do is preview it in Firefox just to see what we're going to work with and you can see it's a pretty ordinary page. You've got the background image, the foreground image, five paragraphs and a H1 title. Okay so make sure you split the screen and the first thing we're going to do is separate the uh, CSS which is already there so we're going to put a forward slash in and put a comment in just put star 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 keep going along until you've drawn a straight line and end that with a forward slash so we're going to go into the source code now and if I just highlight the title tag and you can see it in design view as well we're going to make a selector for that so we're going to change that we're going to align the text into the center so it's in a div called content so we're going to type in pound content and space h1 open and close curly brackets and we'll type in text dash align colon and we'll align it to center put a semicolon in the end and then click in design view and you'll see it will change okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the color so i'm going to type in color colon pound c60 and semicolon on the end okay so we're going to change the font size now so we're going to type in font dash size colon and we're going to type in 1.8 m's and then that with a semicolon and you see the titles drop down in size there but when we change the font family it should um, jump back up in size so I'm going to type in font dash family colon and we're going to select Vedana Geneva sans serif and as you see it's grown back in size it's even bigger now and we change the title because we want a contrast in font face for the title as opposed to the paragraphs now we're going to add a drop cap so we can make the W at the start of the paragraph really large. So we're going to type in dot drop cap, open and close curly brackets. And we're going to, the first selector we're going to put in is float colon left. So we're going to float it left. We're going to add a line height, line dash height, colon 62 pixels. And we'll also add a font size, uh, make it really large, 70 pixels and we're going to set the padding to the right of 10 pixels so it will push the rest of the paragraph away by 10 pixels to the right we'll also set it to the same colour as the title tag so that's pound C60 OK we'll highlight the W and we'll go down into the properties inspector select the class and we'll set it to drop cap and you'll see that that's changed now it's looking really good okay so we'll go back into the source code and the next thing we're going to be looking to do is add a block quote so if you can find the line of paragraph where it says why do we use it with a question mark we're going to take out the opening paragraph there and the closing paragraph of the 
paragraph before that to join those paragraphs together. Now, where it says why do we use it, we're going to type in block quote and then we're going to go to the end and add a block quote closing tag to where it says layout. Okay, so when you're ready, click on the refresh button or click inside design view you'll see that it separates the block quote from the paragraphs and we'll go back into the CSS now and what we're going to do is we're going to adjust pound content so we're going to type in pound content and the block quote we want to target which is inside of the div content and the first thing we're going to do is set a font size and the font size we're going to set is 20 pixels and you'll see it grows inside once you press refresh. Now we've also going to set it to float to the right. Now it has floated it's just that it doesn't know what width it needs to be so it's just taking up the whole room there so we're going to set, specify a width for it now and the width we'll set is 220 pixels and uh, once you click refresh you see that it appears over on the right and the rest of the paragraph content below that has appeared up on the left it's kind of like clearing an image to the right or to the left okay so we're going to add a border on the left hand side just to really define the content so border dash left colon 8 pixels solid and the same color as the title and the drop cap okay so that's now in place but what we do need to do is add a bit of padding there just to push it away from the block quote. So we're going to type in padding dash left colon and we're going to set 20 pixels of padding to the left and you'll see that it moves over. Okay so it's looking quite good so far but we're just going to adjust the line height and that's the space in between all of the uh, words in the block quote and you'll see that it changes there. So just set the line height to 30 pixels or try and adjust it however you want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to now preview that in Firefox, which is my browser of choice. And there you go, it's looking quite good so far. It's a really bland page, so I know which one I'd pick. Have a look at the old one, and uh, we'll check the new one. And you can really see that the, the web page looks a lot more engaging. It's a lot easier to read, and with that block quote, a pull quote, it really pulls you into that content. So um, it's worth putting something that you really want to emphasize in that area. Okay so I'm just going to put in another drop cap where it says where can I get some and we'll put in a horizontal rule so highlight the etc um, last word of that paragraph and uh, you'll be able to see it in a source code so just below that we're going to add a horizontal rule like that and that's going to split the content in half there that's brilliant and I'm going to re-preview that in Firefox Okay, the effects that we're trying to achieve on here is almost finished. We've just got to do a few little bits and pieces, but if you compare it to the old, the original starting files, you can see that it makes a big difference adding a few little effects of typography onto your web page. There is one thing I want to do, and that's to make the text on the right hand side as straight as it is on the left hand side where it's left justified. So, what we'll do is we'll turn the whole paragraphs all of the paragraphs into a justified text alignment so we'll go back into the CSS and we're going to set a selector now for the paragraph so all of the paragraphs in div ID content so pound content space P open and close curly brackets text dash align and set that to justify and the effects already taken place so we'll just have a look at that in Firefox now just before we preview that there is one little thing I want to do and that's to the title I want to separate the title with a page break um, because it's a little bit too close to that first paragraph so we'll go into the source code and just under the h1 header tag I'm going to put in a page break by pressing shift and enter okay so I'll preview that in Firefox one last time and as you can see we've created two drop caps we've created a block quote with some engaging content we've changed the h1 header tag and changed the fonts out there and we've made the rest of the paragraphs justified so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you're watching in YouTube and I'll see you next time